All right, here we go. Chemical processing is about to finish. But we are not worried about that. And then you add this one. We're not worried about that. What we are doing is we are going to make the copper wire section. Which needs six of these. That's a lot of resources. Gonna need three, six, nine, twelve, twenty-four. 24 and 12 and more of these 5, 10, 15, 20 and belt belt should be good we're going to need splitters we're going to need a couple of splitters hmm and now we've hit that point where iron's not keeping up. <laughs> that's the that's the downside of the storage thing. That's why I need to upscale the mining procedure as soon as possible with the whole uh, filter inserters. So that way I can just have this line of filter inserters with boxes next to them. And it will yank off the... Uh, where would be a good spot for that? Right here would be a good spot. It could yank off the... Let's clear this off in advance. It'll yank off the uh, stone and so just be iron on the belt. True, that means it's not going to be filled with entirely iron, but it's better to have it be on iron than uh, and just constantly mining. Then just have this large deficit. If this is the case, I'm never going to get past iron gears. There wouldn't be any more iron in reserve. Oh good, it's getting dark. So let's see. About one here. One here. Here. One here. One there. One there. One there. Uh, there. There, there, come over here for now, we will just have one here, and have one here. And then we can have a light there, a light here, a light here. That ran out. There we go. That looks better. Now we have some nighttime lights. How much power is that eating up? Well, 20 of them is only 100 kilowatts, which means they're 5 kilowatts each. Is math my strong suit? It is. So it's 20 kilowatts each. We're making not even we're not even consuming half the power that we could produce. That's fine. So according to this, we're still making plenty of copper. It's not fast enough, but it can be easily upscaled, unlike the iron. Okay, everything's done. So I'm going to want this right here. Right there. Can I fit it there? Probably. So I'm going to want some long lines of that. And then I'll get that one. And then I needed this one. So along the lines of this box, these, this, two, three, and that box, that belt, 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 this box, this, one, two, three this box this and
this This is gonna be weird. So I gotta do it something like that. Looks a little weird, but that works out better than trying to fuck around with it and probably make it look even worse. Yep, wrong way. That's gonna be something like this. I need more arms. And that's going way too high, way too high. This is going to be the main thing. We'll have it at like this point. There and there. And there, there, and there. And these could be like four. Okay. I suppose I can start adding power here. That's done, and then this. All right. That uh, that really bugs me. That just really bugs me. It needs to be here. It has to be here. And then that that has to look like that. All right. And this is all going to be copper wire. There we go. And now we can start making this black copper wire. Let's get... What am I looking for? Not that. This. Two of these. Put one here. And one here. Alright. Yeah, and we sh that should easily stack up. That's not going to use. That's going to use a lot of copper, but that's mainly what the copper is going to be used for in the first place. Right, coal's doing well. Iron. No more's run out yet. All right, now I can focus on this other more the more Bob's mod section. So. First, let's see. I started this 10 minutes ago. So I got 10 minutes left. Filter inserter needs a fast inserter and the basic electronic board. Fast inserter needs regular inserter and the basic electronic board. So what I need is the basic electronic board. So what do I need for the basic electronic board? Basic electronic board needs solder, electronic components, and the basic circuit board. Basic circuit board is that stuff. So for right now, I'll probably make this stuff by hand. And then over here, so I need solder, basic electronic components, and the basic circuit board. Oh, I got the board. The solder needs resin, and solder plate. Solder plate. Tin and lead. Oh my god. It's gonna take ages to upscale iron. More than what I have for tonight. This might take an hour to get done. Tin and lead. Tin and silver and copper. Well, I don't have silver and copper. But I do have lead, and I do have tin. 
And I need that combined together to make the solder. And it makes 11 plates at a time using 4 and 7. I'd say... What's going to be easier, bringing the tin up here or bringing the, the lead down there? Well, lead is what's going to be needed more. So it might be worth just cutting down the travel time on the lead and bringing the tin up there. Because so I can bring the tin down here, up, under, through here, under, and over here, and vice versa with the lead bot. And I, I kind of want all the smelting to be done in this section. So right here is the best. All right. All right, I dig it. That was only half of it. And then the basic electronic component needs carbon and tin copper wire. Tin copper wire needs copper cable and tin plates. Oh, these need tin plate and lead plate. Lead plate is made in the furnaces. Tin plate is also made in those furnaces. Ah. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot how complicated this shit is. None of this ever happened before. And if, like, it's vastly less complicated in the regular version of Factorio. Alright, first things first, let's start with the solder. No. Yes. No? Yes. Because that's going to be, that's going to be like half of the thing for the electronic components. So the solder needs resin. I have seven minutes left to get some of the start. Resin is straight up wood. Which means I need a constant wood supply. Well, I guess these features here and what I got on me is gonna have to do. I'll just have to manually place uh place it in. Just throw all that in, it makes one. It's a one-to-one -one conversion. Later, I think you can get synthetic resin? Question mark? Maybe? I don't remember. Alright, so... Well, I guess I can use all the wood that's on this deposit. That'll probably work, too. Alright, we're still good on pollution, I think. If they're gonna come from anywhere, it's gonna be this unknown section. So maybe like a, a radar out there would be good. If I could reach it on that little island, they wouldn't be able to ever destroy it. But, focus. Let's see. So I am going to need... Let's start with the lead. So the lead, it's made in these things. Now the metal mixing, the mixing furnaces are actually faster. The mixing furnaces are faster. Oil powered, oil powered steel metal mixing furnace. That's new. Yeah, the mixing furnaces tend to be faster than the regular counterparts. So if I go here, it can be made in a stone furnace or a metal mixing furnace. Stone furnace is a crafting time, oh, a crafting speed of one. Mixing furnace is a crafting speed of one. Can be made in either? What's the point in using the metal mixing furnace? What's the point of using the metal mixing furnace? It can be made in the stone furnace. It's both the same crafting speed. All three are the same crafting speed. 
And this thing requires stone brick. Consumes burnable fuel, 90 kilowatts. To... It's the same fucking thing. Oh, I, I think chemical... I think something's I think these use something that's actually required. Well, it's a good thing I'm making some brick. So, to get started with lead, let's make... No, no, let's get three of these. So, one, two, three. Ignore that. We'll, do, we'll put it a little further down, so... Something like that. We want room to expand them. Okay, and... I can use these to make brick. I can use this to make iron. Copper. Lead. Crafting time, 3.2 seconds. I guess I'll make lead with the lead ore. That's gonna need a fuel source. I'm just sort of playing this out in my head with three minutes left. It's gonna need a fuel source, it says. Let's focus. Focus. Let's focus on getting uh, stuff mined out. I need more iron. Yeah, the iron is... The iron is severely lacking. Let's get three of these. Ah, interesting. So, almost all the gears have hit maximum production. The ammo is almost is about halfway. These gears at maximum. That's actually really good. These aren't making anymore, which means these aren't sucking up iron, which means these chests can fill up, and once these fill up, the belt will fill up again. Meaning they'll be start to get a backlog. So that's actually good. And so okay. Six miners. Yeah, alright then. So we'll go one, two, three. Buffer system. One, two, three. And chest one, two, three. There we go. Something like that. Yeah, that looks that just looks good in my opinion. Only reason I did that. That might not be well, this entire section might be empty, so. Okay, lead is now being mined. Now it just needs a fuel source. Alright. I've got a little bit of time left. So if that makes lead, I need more iron again. One, two, three. Yeah, that's gonna have to move. Gonna have to move back one. Another three. It's about time to end by. I at least want to get this thought through. And then it's gonna be.
Something like that? That's power. Power's good. It's going to be something like this. This is going to be the lead plates. Now, lead plates need to be combined with tin plates to make solder. Lead plate is not used for anything else right now except for the solder. That is fine. So in the next episode, I need to figure out the best way to get fuel up there. The coal, split the coal to get it up there. Oh, the resin sun, might as well pick that up while I'm here. So I need to split the coal again to get it up there. I then need, I need increased coal production for up there. I then need to do the same thing over for tin smelt tin locally and then over here make solder make tin plates bring the tin plates up here have it make solder plates and then turn the solder plates combine it with resin turn that into solder and put that in a box for now but that is for next episode so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time